Our top story tonight, a post in a neighborhood Facebook group that went viral overnight, sparking a heated debate about an interaction between a local veteran and a sandwich shop owner in Pooler this past Veterans Day. WSAV's Christine Qualey joins us now to explain. Ben, the controversy began on Monday when a veteran and her daughter went to a firehouse subs in Pooler for a free sandwich deal the chain was advertising. But she says the owner was hostile about the promotion and the interaction devolved into a shouting match with profanities exchanged between her daughter and the owner. When Amy Eisensmith and her daughter went to pick up their sandwiches, she says the owner spoke openly about not wanting to be part of the promotion. She tells me that he also began slamming objects in the restaurant, talking about how much money he'd lost that day and calling veterans entitled. That's when Eisensmith and her daughter decided they felt uncomfortable enough to leave. On the way out, though, an argument broke out between her daughter and the owner, prompting her highly shared post. But we've noticed over and over and over again, this is not just us. This went on all day. It's gone on previously. This has just been his attitude towards Veterans Day in general. And that's why we spoke up. And my thing is, there's a lot of homeless vets. They could have gone in there and been met with that attitude. There's people that are veterans that this time of year is hard for them. They could have gone and been met with that attitude. In response to the post, a firehouse sub spokesperson said, quote, we take our history of supporting veterans and first responders seriously, and we are taking immediate action to address this matter with the franchisee. As an apology and to show our support to the Pooler veteran community, the firehouse subs public safety foundation has pledged to donate $25,000 to a local veteran organization. Now, I spoke to multiple employees at the restaurant today, and several said this isn't the first time the owner has had customer complaints, and some of them will even be looking for new jobs. Christine Qualey, WSAV News 3, on your side.